Greetings, history enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the remarkable military campaigns and conquests of a man who reshaped the world, Alexander III of Macedon, better known as Alexander the Great. Born in 356 BC in the Kingdom of Macedonia, Alexander was poised for greatness from a tender age. Tutored by the legendary philosopher Aristotle, Alexander developed a keen interest in learning, especially in areas of geography, politics, and military tactics. This education would underpin the strategic genius of his later conquests. At just 20 years old, Alexander ascended to the throne after his father, Philip II's, untimely assassination. Despite his youth, he quickly demonstrated his cunning military prowess and an unwavering vision for a united world. Alexander set his sights on the Persian Empire, the superpower of the day. In 334 BC, he crossed the Hellespont, an audacious move that marked the beginning of his legendary conquests. His first major victory was the Battle of Granicus, where Alexander used masterful strategy and personal courage to defeat a larger Persian force. This victory was a potent demonstration of his capabilities and determination. In 332 BC, Alexander set his eyes on Egypt, a region neglected by the weakening Persian Empire. He seized the opportunity and conquered Egypt with little resistance, establishing the city of Alexandria. In Egypt, Alexander was declared the pharaoh and, at the oracle of Siwa, the son of Amun, cementing his divine status among the Egyptians and further solidifying his power. With Egypt under his belt, Alexander refocused on Persia. He met Darius III, the Persian king, in what became the Battle of Gagamela, a confrontation that would determine the fate of the Persian Empire. Despite being outnumbered, Alexander employed his military genius and superbly trained Macedonian phalanx to encircle and devastate the Persian forces. Darius III fled, leaving his empire to the hands of Alexander. Alexander's victory at Gagamela paved the way for his unopposed entry into the grand cities of Babylon and Persepolis. He was now the undisputed ruler of the Persian Empire, achieving a feat unimaginable for a non-Persian ruler. Alexander, not satisfied with ruling the largest empire of the era, set his gaze further east towards India. But this time, the military campaign proved to be a much tougher ordeal. At the Battle of Hydaspes in 326 BC, Alexander faced King Porus of Paurava, an Indian kingdom. It was a grueling fight, showcasing the toughness of the Indian forces. Despite winning, Alexander's men were weary and longed for home. Faced with a possible mutiny, Alexander agreed to return westward, marking the end of. The return journey was fraught with hardships and losses. The once invincible Macedonian army faced significant challenges, including a devastating monsoon and a deadly encounter with the Mali tribesmen. Arriving in Babylon in 323 BC, an unwell Alexander was confined to his quarters. Despite his condition, he planned for further expeditions and administrative tasks, demonstrating his unyielding ambition. However, destiny had other plans. Just a month after his return, Alexander fell seriously ill and died, leaving a legacy as one of the most successful military commanders in history. Alexander's empire, at the time of his death, stretched from Greece to Egypt, Persia, and parts of India. It was an empire unmatched in size, making him truly worthy of the title A Euro Alexander the Great, A Euro. After his death, Alexander's massive empire was divided among his generals, known as the Diadochi. This period marked significant cultural exchanges and transformations across these regions, known as the Hellenistic period. Cities like Alexandria, Antioch, and Pergamon became centers of learning and culture, blending Greek with local customs. This fusion spawned advancements in various fields, such as science, art, and architecture. The Hellenistic period witnessed the creation of remarkable architectural marvels and works of art. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and the proliferation of Greek-style sculpture were notable developments of this time. The Greek language spread far and wide, becoming the lingua franca of the Hellenistic world. One monumental achievement was the translation of the Hebrew Bible into Greek, known as the Septuagint. Thus, while Alexander the Great is often remembered for his unparalleled military campaigns and conquests, 
His true legacy lies in the profound cultural impact and global connections his empire facilitated. Alexander's innovative military strategies, such as the use of the phalanx and heavy cavalry, coupled with his ability to inspire his men, revolutionized warfare and influenced many future campaigns. He is remembered as a leader who led from the front, sharing the hardships of his men and participating actively in battles. This quality endeared him to his soldiers and intensified their loyalty. Alexander's image was immortalized in countless statues, coins, and paintings, spreading his fame across his empire and beyond. These served as potent symbols of his authority and grandeur. Beyond military conquests, Alexander had a vision of unity and cultural exchange. He encouraged marriages between his Greek soldiers and foreign women, promoting a sense of brotherhood and mutual respect among diverse cultures. Today, Alexander the Great's life and conquests form an essential part of our curriculum, offering valuable insights into leadership, strategy, ambition, and the complexities of power. His life continues to intrigue historians, scholars, and authors, prompting a plethora of research, books, and even films that attempt to capture the essence of this man who reshaped the world. Alexander's legacy transcends his military conquests. His era was the bedrock of a new world order, a fusion of cultures, languages, and art, making him one of history's most influential figures. In the end, we recognize Alexander not just for the territories he conquered, but for the cultural dialogue he initiated, a dialogue that echoes to this day. Thus, Alexander the Great remains an enduring testament to the transformative power of ambition and vision.